Yeah, the only way to step money, up, man. Like the only way I saw to make, cause I was in the army, so I was like, how the hell I'ma make money if you yeah, shit. So I was like, so I was cutting hair, but I only cut hair for six hours. So I was Sweet. like, what the fuck can I do while up. I'm at work? And then I researched, researched. Research. I was like, the only way I can make money from my phone is the stock market. So I was like, that's the only way I'ma get rich while I'm in the army. I was a millionaire before I left. Before you left the army, you was a millionaire. Yeah, I left uh, March 20th, 2020. So I actually had a meal before the pandemic even started. And how long you in the army? From uh, September 2014 to uh, March 20th, 2020. From 18 to 24, so I'm 25. I've only been out for like a year and a half. Nigga left the military with a million dollars, nigga fucking with the stock market. Mm -hmm. Cutting her off and, and wisely investing this money. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 25 years old, man. Uh, this what the kids got to see and what they need to see, man. Yeah. And uh, I normally don't see it till I come to Atlanta. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. where I'm from. Yeah. Me and him cousin, we, we know. And that's crazy because he owned he, he own the business. We started our business literally, like, the same time. Like, the same time. time. Like, I was there for his premiere at his restaurant. Yeah. Y'all hear that? Yeah. He, he behind the scene right now, though. We try to just give him a glimpse. Hey, man, make sure you get the man. grip. You see what I'm saying? He own this, man. Yeah. So that's why, yeah, we, every time we come to ATL, this is what we come to, man. It's a reason why. It's a reason why we go there, man. We come from the, you know, here, really, this is this is where we from. Yeah. Like this side of town. Smile for the camera. Your name and life forever, fellas. Yes, sir. Only in Atlanta, man. Yeah, y'all gonna remember these pictures, man. Yeah, I feel like it's because we saw so much yes, going on. Like, yeah, we we was exposed to a lot. I believe that what got that's what got us motivated. Then you say exposed to a lot, exposed to a lot like what? Uh, streets, uh, both like businesses, um, businesses like in Atlanta. We could easily, even though we from the south side, we from this part, we could easily just drive uptown and go see everything. Well, uh, you know, I'm an Olympic baby. I was uh, born 1996 in Atlanta. So I was going uh, like two months before the Olympics. The so Olympic like, game, two months before the year. Yeah, yeah okay. I was. I was actually there as, as a two month year old baby. Oh, really? So yeah, man, like just seeing that, it was a lot. We had a lot of uh, entrepreneurs, young, like black men. And, yeah. and the schools taught us to, yeah. to be woke and like self aware. Like we was like black history, man, we took it serious in that level. <laughs> like we did like real life. Like when I was a kid, like, I, like for instance, like we knew everything, like the traffic light, Gary Morgan, Charles Drew, blood yeah. music transplant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like black yeah. history is what we were really bursting in. It in just Atlanta. wasn't the face of Martin Luther King, I have a dream. Well, yeah. and even then, like I remember seeing yeah. pictures of like when I moved to Kansas for one year, the Egyptians were white men and stuff in the book. In Atlanta, they didn't play that. In the schools I went to, black Egyptian people, black this and that. So I always thought we were kings and queens. My mindset was never like, oh, we can't accomplish nothing. So I blame, I do say Atlanta got a lot to do with that. Like just me, my upbringing, and just seeing really black history. You, you ever, uh, what's that uh, movie, The Hidden Color? Yeah, I'm, I'm on all that. Right, so I, I, I watched that when I was 19 years old. Changed my life. I was like, damn. I already knew my black history, but I was like, man, I didn't know like the start, the before. You get what I'm saying? So once I learned that, I was like, ain't no way you telling me I'm a human, the white man a human, the Asian man a human. He got a brain, he got a mouth, but he can learn this shit and I can't. That's how I thought. So I was like, there's no way this stock market shit hard because I, I self-taught myself how to barber. I self-taught myself just about everything. So I'm like, shit, the stock market ain't nothing different. And if they mentally capable of doing it, and I'm a human too, then, I, then I'm able to. That's how I'm I thought I tell about myself, it. if another human can do it, I can do it, homie. That's what I'm right. saying. Yeah. And a lot of black people yeah. think we're not capable. They'll say, hey, man, you know, that that's for them. Nah, that's for us too. Yeah. It yeah. just, it just... We needed somebody to break it down for us. So I said, if I can learn this, I can break it down to the young people in a way that they can understand it. And that's what I became. I became the most popular financial literacy young nigga in the world right now, as a black man. And I bought this car in uh, 2020. Uh, when I first made uh, 
I would say that's the first car I bought as a millionaire. Hmm. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. Hear, hear what he said, man. It's the first car he bought as a millionaire, man. <laughs> first car he bought as a millionaire. Now you got a lot of people driving these cars, but get what? It's first he bought it when he first when he his first car he bought as a millionaire, man. Say that's cousin Jeff right there, y'all. Yeah, that's yeah, cousin yeah. Jeff right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cousin Jeff yeah, right yeah. there, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga be behind, nigga yeah. be behind the scenes, man. Yeah. But yeah. He push a lot of buttons, man. Hey, man, he got daddy to retire, man. <laughs> man. Nah, real talk, man. What'd you say, how Kanye was? We on the Kanye West journey pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah, young niggas live on me, I swear. Oh, uh, nah, I see. Right, 25, man. Uh, yeah, He's 25 now. Man. He's 25, man. See my buzz going on. Oh, oh shit. He's 25, man. This man is 25. Yeah. Show. 25. Listen to what I'm telling you, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah man. All that. Yeah, man. It's a lot of game being speared on the ground for you, for you hungry hounds, man. Yeah, man. Say so, you know what I'm talking about, man. We can do it by can, right? Too. Look at this here. Real shit. Why we smoking a blunt in the front of the grill? Look at this here, man. Yeah, we out here. Yeah, we out here, man. Matter of fact, we finna go 